Hey everyone, Shabby Game here and welcome back to some more Hearthstone. Today we're going to try out the Hunter class. Uh, we do have the Hunter Death Knights, uh, which of course gives us the Build a Beast function. So we're going to give it a go. It's going to be a secret uh, Hunter. I've never really played it. Well, I have, but a long, long time ago. So let's see how we get on with this one. I might... I sort of feel like I might do better with like a, a zoo. Is there such a thing as a zoo hunter? I do like I like zoo decks a lot, but we'll give this a go. See how we get on. I've changed a little bit again. I've done my wonders. Literally, somebody who is a professional Hearthstone player has built an amazing deck, and I've decided that I can do better. So I've ended up um, changing it. So we'll see what happens. We're against the priest. That's a good thing for us or not? But let's see. We've got, pro we've got two. See, I brought King Crush in myself. Now, I feel like I want to keep Putricide though, because he can be very useful. And uh, that's not too bad. That's a really good death rattle, that kindly grandmother. So we're going second as well, so we can drop the kindly grandmother straight away. Then we can also adapt on turn two. That's pretty good actually. That's not a bad start whatsoever. This guy though is taking his time, as he always do. There we go. Alright, so let him do what he wants to do. Hopefully he's just going to finish his turn straight away. Yes, he does. Good. Right, so I'm going to drop this straight into the kindly Flash grandmother. Job done. So that's a 1-1 one, one card. It's a real strong card when you look at it. It's 1-1 one, one for 2 mana, but when it dies you get a free 2 big bad wolf. So literally it is a... What is it? It's 4-3 you're getting for 2 mana, which is pretty damn good, isn't it, really? So next time we can drop this. At the start of your turn, restore free health to a damage. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so now I can drop this down. And I can adapt that as well. I can give it taunt, stealth, or plus free health. Let's give it plus free health. And then oh, gonna... I feel like we need to take this out, to be honest. But I might chip away at his face. I'm going to chip away at his face, because I don't need to take that out. So no, I could have killed Job it next done. turn. Could I? I buggered that up, haven't I? Don't matter. So next time we can put down... We can do Kill Command. Be uh, kill Command. Yeah, we don't want that, do we? Have we got another big, big, bad wolf we can put down? Or we can drop our Snake Trap. I don't really want to use the... Putricides on the board, because then we get double the amount of traps for it. Ah, that was pointless then, wasn't it? I need to attack. Okay. Ah, we might have messed this up then. I say we, it's my, it's, it's my fault, right? not yours, but... Okay. Okay, so I can adapt another beast. Now let's adapt the Give it plus three attack. Lovely. And I can take that out. No, I can't. But I can take that out. Job's done. That's pretty decent then. It's not a bad turn. We do have a lot of damage on the board now. If he can't kill this, then we might be able to hit him in the face and give him a good six damage here next turn. Oh, he's got another tornado. Okay, we should have took this light well out when we had a chance, I think. Animal companions, summon a random beast. Deal free damage. If you control a beast, it's five damage instead. Okay, we do control a beast. So let's take this out. And then I can kill that with that. Overkill, isn't it? Oh, it right. We got rid of that. that. That was the main thing. Now, if we can keep these two things on the board alive this turn, then I can hit him in the face for a good seven damage next turn. And I do have another big bad. I haven't. See, next turn I could drop both the kindly grandmother and the animal companion. Just do that for oh, what a bugger. What a bugger. Give a friending beast 2-2 two, two and torn. We don't have a beast on the table yet. So kindly grandmother, animal companion. Oh, nice. That's good. Extra attack damage. Job's done. So if he, when he takes these two out, we're going to have some pretty good board coverage, actually. And again, I really want to chain the secrets with Putricide. So I don't want to drop anything on there yet. I want to wait until Putricide's... Uh, I want to wait until I've got a couple of secrets there and I can do it all together because basically whenever you play a secret it gives me another random secret. Oh, that's annoying. It's poisonous, which doesn't really matter. We can just trade this into it and then we get a free two out of it anyway. That's not too bad. 
I feel like this could be a, a, a long... Five damage on any hero, okay. I feel like this could be a long a long range deck for him. Because at the moment he seems to be struggling. You gonna finish your turn? Is that okay? You gonna finish your turn? Come on, mate. Don't be like this. Can I give him a little... Uh... I must consider... There you go, no. Okay. Ah, so I've got two secrets now. That's a good secret, that whenever one of your minions is attacked, summon a 2 free Poisonous Cobra. I like that. Oh, First of all, I think I need to get rid of this, don't I? Obviously. He's now going to give me... Oh, a nice card, actually. Uh, give a friendly beast 2-2. Two, two. These kind of, they do count as beasts, okay. Oh, I can pick which one as well, so let's give that 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and the one. Excellent. Oh. I'm going to save these uh, secrets because if I put this down, if we can get to turn 8 and I can put these 3 down at the same time, we're going to end up with 4 secrets on the table, which would be great. That's 2 more turns yet, so we'll have to see what we are going to get. Then again, I could put this down next turn and put one of these secrets down. Yeah, destroy a minion, five more attack, okay. That's clever. That's clever. He's gonna hit him. I think he's struggling for cards here, you know. So this is a really good card as well, actually, for this point in time. But I think I'm gonna go Putricide. And then I'm gonna drop a Venom Strike. Which is then gonna give me another one, which is a Freezing Trap. Okay. I can hit him in the face then with these three. We've actually got Lethal on the board now as well. So unless he can do something interesting here, thing is he can't attack any of my minions now. He can, I don't know. When one of your minions is attacked, so it could. I don't know if that counts as a spell as well. And we've also got this when one of your minions is attacked, summon three one-one snakes as well, which are well, going to be beasts, consider. I would imagine. So this will give him plus one attack. So we've got lethal on the board then. So he's got to do something big here. He's got to do something interesting that's going to uh, turn this one around for him. It's a light well, interesting. Interesting. What have you got to buff that? Double its health, okay. Oh, it's got ten. It's got ten attack now as well, interesting. But I feel like I've, st I've still got lethal on the board. What's he doing? Eureka! I've still got lethal, look. Have I got lethal? Six, ten, Eureka! fourteen, sixteen, yeah. <laughs> There we go, that's not bad then, we've done okay with this deck. I feel like we were a bit lucky there. I don't feel like his priest deck was really very good. He seemed to have a lot to put down. But that's a good 10 gold, we've done well there. Uh, let's have another game, see how we get on. I don't know if I'll squeeze all three games in this uh, episode or not, but I might do, it depends if, if, these are, if these are quick games, I'll try and squeeze them all in one. If not, then, uh, then obviously I'll uh, mix and match. The light shall bring victory. But I'm quite liking this deck. I didn't think I was going to, to be honest. I know it's a little bit out there, but I didn't think I was really going to enjoy it that much. Your secret, this is what I need, one of these, Cloaked Huntress. This chained with Professor Putricide is fantastic, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to keep these three cards for now. And I get a Freezing Trap, okay. So I could coin... The thing is, I don't really want to put any of these down at this point in time. Unless I can get another minion... I don't want to put the injured? the razor more down because I want to adapt. Um, it's another priest. I want to adapt something. So maybe the secret. Then if I leave it, in the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my coin. Keep my coin for now. Thing is, next turn, then I could coin into cloaked huntress. I put both these secrets down. Or I could coin into Animal Don't Companion. Oh nice. 4-4 four, four Taunt. Love it. Love it. I couldn't go any better with that. And now if I can then drop this down next turn and adapt this, we can end up with a really strong card here. Gotta be careful with the shadow work. Oh he's never got anything to do. Interesting. I'm going to drop this down and adapt this. Um, 
and make it plus three attack. Lovely. Hit you straight in the face. Let's start doing damage. That is a real strong start. I'm enjoying this hunter deck, you know. Oh, I've not done it. I've not played a hunter deck in a very long time. I'm enjoying it. Whenever you cast a spell, restore free health to your hero. Okay. So let's. Do we want to kill command that? I don't know actually. So there's different things I could do here. Is this? See this. This could end up becoming a problem. But to kill it, I'm gonna have to lose my taunt. And let's do. Let's do, let's do kill command. And let's get rid of that. Okay. And then hit in the face again for another seven. I think that was the best thing to do there because I could have just gone all into his so face. But it would have been a waste. Oh, he's got. A, if your deck has no duplicates, your hero power costs zero. Okay, so you can heal for two now every turn. Um, so what have we got here? What what can we do? We've got another annual animal companion, or we could drop Arthas, or we could drop the cloaked huntress and then put both the secrets down. Which I think I'm gonna do Come that. I think. Night. Yeah. So cloaked huntress, both secrets for a charge. Hit him in the face for two, and then hit him in the face for seven. So we've got freezing trap, which will, when enemy minion attacks, return it to its owner's hand, and it costs two more. And we've also got venom strike track. So if he tries to hit me with this, it's going to summon. Oh, that that's amazing! If that summons a two-free poisonous cobra, does it? Is that going to be as the new target, or just? Okay, so freezing traps. So it goes back into his hand now, and it's going to cost him twice as much to bring back out. How much was it to bring out in the first place? It was five. So it's going to cost him seven to bring back out again. Uh, that annoyed him, that hurt. Oh yeah. Deal two damage to all enemies, restore two health to your hero, okay. So Oh, we're one away from lethal. You we're one away from lethal. Uh, no we're not, we've got lethal. Yes, we got it again! Wow! This hunter deck is doing well! I just realised we had the hero power as well. We really go to start, nice. So it looks like we are going to get enough time to squeeze in the third Hunter game and hopefully we can make it a clean sweep and get three victories in a row. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I, I've not used the Hunter deck in so long and I didn't know how well I was going to do with this, but so far it seems to chain together quite easily to the truth, but those are against Priest. Let's see how we get on against the Warlock because this could very well be a Zulok. Ah, here we go. That's a decent setup. I'm going to get rid of the Nesting Rock for now. If there's anything else lower level we can get hold of. Here we go. Secret Keeper. Whenever a secret is played, game 1-1. One, one, that's good. These two chained together with some secrets would be fantastic. But this is good. Battle Cry. So you get two 1-1s one, on the board straight away, which is very good. Discard six cards. Rec oh, okay. Here's a quest. Warlock. Oh, okay. So let's put both of these down. And I you know what I could do? I could... Coin into secret keeper and then put the secret down next turn. I'm gonna do that as well. Let's get three one ones down on the first turn. That might not be the best play. That might have been a, a poor thing, but I don't think warlocks have a lot of board clearing spells, so I might just be okay. I might just be okay. So I've got friendly grammar, but I'm gonna drop the freezing trap. I'm then going to give that an extra <laughs> bit of damage and I'm going to go straight in for the face. And hopefully, oh that'd be good, so he, he's going to attack me then isn't he? He'll probably attack me with that. Which is probably going to help him out a little bit. Why did you put that down? There you go. Back in your hand. Which is going to help him out because it means he's got another discard then. Give a friendly beast plus two two and taunt. Interesting. Or I can do animal companion. Hmm. I can't drop that yet anyway. This is gonna have to come on. Give me the taunt. Give me the taunt card. Yes, skitty. That was luck. That was. But I'm gonna take it. I really want now. If I can get a couple more secrets in my hand, then I can chain this together quite nicely and make this secret keeper a very powerful card. But this plus 2-2 two, two and Torn, I'll give that to one of these cats that time. Oh, he got lucky there. He got lucky. I need to look at the board now then, because he's uh, got a lot of things on the board. 
Here we go. Here we go then. So we do have Come another secret. Night. So I can play the Cloaked Huntress. And then I can also play Snipe. <laughs> and make it three, four. So that can take out that. And then he's going to have to take out my Taunt card with that anyway. Which is going to cost him. I'm not going to worry about attacking his gun. I'm going to keep attacking his face. Gonna get down as quickly as possible. Next time, then we can play the Houndmaster. And we can possibly give this plus 2 2 and taunt this Cloaked Huntress. Okay, so that's cost him. Okay, so Houndmaster. Okay, no, I was gonna do. Um, give it to the Huntress, but I'm gonna give it to that actually. That means that can go. And then I can do another 3 damage to his face. I can do a lot of damage. I'm loving this hunter deck. It's, I'm doing quite well with it. I don't know why it's, it, it seems to fit my style a bit. It's, it's like a combination of, of zoo, corrupt every minion, destroy them at the start of your next turn. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so I've got another one of these I can drop, which now makes this a four-two. So I haven't got to worry too much now because I'm going to lose all these cards next turn. So let us. And I can plow this, and this, and this. Oh, it's lethal. Oh my god, I didn't realise I had lethal. <laughs> there we go. That was good. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that deck. And it puts us up to uh, rank 19 now as well. Because we've got the bonus star. And we got a we got a chest. We've got to open your chest at the end of the season. To so 50 gold for the free games of Hunter, and that, I will honestly promise you, that was not cut. That was literally three Hunter victories in a row. What are we looking like gold-wise now? We've got 175 gold. Let's buy ourselves a pack. Why not? Let's buy one pack. See if we get lucky. I'm going to do some more pack openings when I get paid next week anyway, but come on. I'd love to get another Legendary. I don't think it's going to happen in a one-off pack, is it? But you never know your luck. Have oh, we got an Epic? It's not too bad. We've got a golden uh, warrior card as well. The rare is going to be Bone Drake. And the epic is Spectral Pillager. I don't know if I've got that one, actually. Deal damage equal to the number of other cards you play this turn. I don't think I've got that one. That's the first time. So a pretty decent pack. But there you go, then. That is our fun with Hunter. Um, we have to do Druid, which I do have the Druid Death Knight, so I might have to give that a go. I want to try Jade Druid, maybe, because that looks really OP still. And then Paladin uh, Mastery, which I've not got that yet, so I might get rid of that quest. I'm not sure yet. Uh, actually, I played a little bit as Hunter. The one I've not done any of, really, is Paladin, but it's not that bad Paladin, because it's a lot of buffs. It's actually quite easy to play as well, but I definitely suggest this um, this Hunter deck. It's, it's on um, it's on Halfborn, and it is um, Kibler's Frozen Throne Hunter's Pack by Fluff Flasher. It's one of the highest rated at the moment on the uh, Huffborn website, so definitely worth a look. I've amended it a little bit just by adding a few extra legendaries into it, but apart from that, it's very much the same. And if you want to have a look, just let me know and I'll do a separate video on it. But there we go. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon for some more Hearthstone. Bye. <laughs>